Tornadoes weren't the only weather event North Alabama saw last night. One Shoals homeowner got so much flooding he couldn't leave his house. Wait, the ones Xavier Wary caught up with that homeowner in Colbert County. I can tell you that the gentleman who lives here at this home has been there for nearly 50 years and his family also occupies some space on this land and they've been dealing with these flooding issues for more than 30 years. And when I initially arrived here, I was in complete shock at how much flooding had covered up the driveway leading into his home. We, we tearing up our car going through this water is inconvenient. Kids can't get out and go to school. 69 year old Thomas Fuquay says this type of inconvenience is something he'd rather not go through especially not knowing how many more days left he has. I'm out of retired. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to enjoy life, but I can't. The flooding that made its way into Colbert County has impacted Fuquay so much that he missed his much needed doctor's appointments. It's been an ongoing problem. You miss an appointment and, you know, you can't get out and it, it's just rough, you know. It's really rough. Fuquay's frustrations come in large part due to the fact that he says the county has had more than enough time over 30 years to come up with a fix. I would like for the county really to stop dropping the ball and get this took care of. Like, I, it, you, we had 30 some years to, to, to go through it. You should have been to come up with a solution. I spoke with Jeremy Robinson, a Colbert County engineer, and while he declined to speak on camera, he says they've done what they can to help mitigate the severe level of flooding from happening. He says the street Fuquay lives on is so low, it's like a bowl and the county inserted a pipe drain into that road, turning the road into a funnel to divert the water. However, he says two things occurred causing the flooding to happen. One, it rained so much that the drain pipe overflowed, and two, field debris got caught in the pipe clogging it up. He says because of how low the area where Fuquay lives is, unfortunately, there isn't a fix that could keep this from happening. Nobody should not live like this in this day and time. I mean, you know, inconvenient, sick family. In Colbert County, Xavier Wary, Way 31 News.